FeatureCam's Tombstone module enables easy programming of machines with Tombstone fixtures. Create the toolpaths for one part, and FeatureCam will produce all the necessary translations and rotations for the rest automatically. Tombstone machining is available for both horizontal and vertical machining centers, giving you the flexibility to machine complex castings or production parts efficiently. So here I have a simple part that I want to be able to put on a tombstone so that I can machine as many of these faces as possible. When you create these parts, you must take care that you create the setups properly. Setup 1 is on top of the part. Setup 2 is on the side, but I've taken care that my Y axes all align. If this is on a horizontal machining center, I need to be able to rotate around Y. So I want to make sure that I create these setups correctly. There you can see Setup 3 is also created correctly. I can just simply rotate 90 degrees to get to this third face. I have a fourth setup on the front. Now clearly we're not going to be able to get to this face if we're machining the other three. But you'll see how this is handled with the tombstone module. Now that you understand how the original FM file is set up, we can create our tombstone file. Go to New Part, highlight our tombstone fixture module and click OK. I'll cancel this for now to show you the steps. And the steps are quite simple because it only handles what we can do in the tombstone file. The first step is the actual definition of the physical tombstone. It can be along the x-axis which would be for a vertical machining center or along the y-axis. Then you enter the number of faces and the dimensions of those faces. Once your tombstone is defined, you can have predefined fixture offset locations if you want and then you can start applying parts to the tombstone faces. This brings up our process plan and I can go and browse to whatever parts I want. And it can be multiple parts, not just multiple instances of one part. So I'm going to apply parts to the 0 degree face and the 180 degree face. I'll start adding parts. Again, I can browse to whatever parts I want. I'll get this part that happens to be open already. It asks me which setup is the primary setup. So I want setup 1 to be my primary setup, but any one of the four setups I have will work. Once I've made that selection and click Next, it shows me which setups are eligible to be machined from that setup. And here you see setup 4 is not included because that's a face we really can't get to if setup 1 is our primary setup. Click Next and you can see the fixture offsets being applied to the different faces. Next one more time and I can start entering the dimensions and I'll click preview and now I'll position the instances on those faces of the tombstone and I can enter whatever offsets I want. I'm going to give it a little extra thickness here because I have a fixture plate under my part and I want the preview to reflect that distance off the face. Once that's all settled, I'll click Next. I can click Finish and OK, and I can run a simulation of all of those fixtures and setups being programmed. My 3D simulation is complete, and now I can look at NC code. If I need to make a change, I can go back to the original part. Let's say, for example, I have a part where I do not want to include this whole pattern. I'll simply exclude that or turn it off, and now we'll go back to our tombstone file. You can see that this is not updated. I can still see the whole pattern. So I need to go to my parts step, highlight that part, and reload it. Click OK. You can see that the whole pattern is now gone and I can run a new simulation to get updated code. 